Attention, you have requested to appeal the community guideline warning strike for the following videos. You may only appeal each video once. Before proceeding, we recommend that you review the community guidelines again. Do you still wish to proceed? Should I say yes or no? Howdy. Well, Russ here. Let me adjust the camera. Okay, um, I just checked my YouTube account and we got a strike. Which is a bad thing. And it, it was on the video licking in the new year with my boyfriend. We just watched the video. We just watched it. It was three minutes-ish. And it was literally talking about our goals. Yeah. And how I wanted 100,000 subscribers. And then how you were sick. Because yeah. you were sick and you were saying, we were debating on kissing each other because I didn't know if I wanted to catch it or you didn't want me to catch it or something. Yeah. But that was the video. One of the tamest videos, I think we ever did. So I, I don't understand what YouTube's doing. YouTube is a private company, so they have the right to do what they want. Yeah. But it sucks because they are the biggest platform. They're the only platform that are exactly like this. Twitch is close, but it's not YouTube. Why did we get a strike? Why? And the thing is, there's no one we can contact. I think a lot of people who don't do YouTube think that like, oh, you just contact YouTube. It's like, who the F do you contact? You can like try to, but when you're like 150,000 followers, it's a little iffy. You can even email on it, but no one ever gets back. Uh, now live streaming is disabled. They won't even let us do live streaming. It makes me concerned for like the bathtub Q and A's. Oh yeah, like and uh, any just like a lot of our videos, like who knows if this channel will be around? Yeah, the video we got a strike for it makes no sense. I'm questioning YouTube right now. Like Fox News can put their videos about like crazy news stuff, and the news is scary. Yeah, like about killing, but we just got demonetized for me flexing and trying to lick my armpit just to see if I was flexible. It was literally that we were sitting right here with clothes on. Yeah, fully clothed. Right here, just like this, with tank clothes top. on, with the tank top. Yeah. It was just like, you know how people try to like lick their elbow? I couldn't do it. So I was gonna try to lick my armpit instead. Just as a challenge, nothing sexual. It, did you not try to do that when you were a kid? Yeah. Maybe I should censor me um, trying to lick my elbow. Because yeah, I, I, I will, know. I will censor it because I'm scared. I, it's getting to the point where if you watch our first videos, we're very fun and happy. But now it's like I'm biting my tongue to not say something that's controversial so it doesn't offend someone, especially YouTube. We're just like alone here in Montana. It's hard enough to do YouTube in Montana because we really are some of the few YouTubers in Montana. Yeah, there's some in Missoula. Missoula, the, the vlog bros or whatever they are. Yeah. Maybe they didn't like our goals. Maybe they didn't mind you licking your own armpit. Maybe they just didn't like well, your goals. Oh, okay, okay, that's, that's a huge point. It doesn't tell you what you did wrong. It says you could have done this, this, or this. It doesn't tell you what you did wrong. I don't even really know. I, I'm assuming it's from flexing or licking my armpit because everything else was talking about, oh, my goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers. Oh, you're sick. That was what the content was. Yeah. That's what was in the video. It was a pretty quick video. I think it was a video where like, let's just film something real quick. Yeah. Do you remember watching the video by any chance? I mean, the amount of time you put into editing things and trying to make sure that everything is okay and would be acceptable. Um, and not trigger anybody. And not trigger anyone. I mean, the era of everyone being offended by every little thing. That's hard enough as it is. I know. You post a video and people are mad because my niece has said something that offended them and they're gonna unsubscribe. We go travel in Colorado and we do something that's legal in the state and people unsubscribe. That's already tough to take, but then when YouTube really starts censoring you and they actually have power to give you strikes and stuff, that's when it sucks. You know, what was so great when we first started off with YouTube. We is, could be ourselves. Yeah, people could do just about anything. They could, it was such an open platform at that time. The world could be a little bit different. The world could actually be gay. YouTube helped me come out being gay. Like people in my family, like my distant family, like my aunts and stuff that I'm not real close to, they found the videos. Mm -hmm. And it helped me come out to a lot of my family. Like YouTube helped me come out to a lot of my family. The old YouTube. And, yeah, YouTube. it is the old YouTube because actually my coming out video gets demonetized all the time. It's not friendly and I didn't talk about anything sexual. I just talked about what it was like to work on the oil rigs. Being gay is not easy and YouTube made me feel comfortable being myself and exploring that piece of me and really helped me f feel good in my skin. And then they start doing this kind of stuff and it just goes back to just being like, what the heck is going on? And back to like a darker spot that I used to be in before I was comfortable in my own skin. We'll just have to wait and see how this, how this goes because I, I cannot imagine that if that video got a strike, 
how many others are going to end up being in line to get strikes? <laughs> this compared to what kids watch on TV and hear on TV is, this is nothing. This is nothing compared to what you can go and watch on TV. We'll see where we go from here, folks. Give us your thoughts and we'll try to read comments. I don't cry a lot, but I feel like I wish I could right now. I mean, you just put your heart and soul into this for, for so long and then it just... YouTube's felt like they stabbed me in the heart almost. Yeah. And I'm afraid to say that. I'm afraid to say that because they're going to punish me more. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of YouTube. Anything I put out, I'm afraid that it's going to get me censored completely. I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know. Why Ross? And Chris. Love you a long, long, long time. Attention, you have requested to appeal the community guideline warning strike for the following videos. Licking in the new year with my boyfriend. You may only appeal each video once. Before proceeding, we recommend that you review the community guidelines again. Do you still wish to proceed? I've looked at the community guidelines. Um, it's so vague, it doesn't help, so I guess I'm ready. And I've also watched my video over again, and I, I don't know what I did wrong, so I'm going to go ahead and click... Yes. I don't understand what we did wrong. Appeal. <sighs> Let's hope I don't get in more trouble for doing that. I am in a funk. I mean, how can you not be in a funk when you get a strike for something you don't understand? Chris and I have reacted to rap videos where people killed each other, and they were very controversial. How come it's okay to have all these controversial music videos? And how come some of the bigger YouTubers are allowed to kind of push the boundaries and how come news can show controversial things but other people are targeted and get strikes it's not a level playing field i love everybody thank you for supporting this channel i'm not gonna quit i'm gonna keep going i love youtube too much this is just a just a hump just a hiccup